Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I share these What's For Dinner videos every week to hopefully give you guys some meal ideas and motivate you to cook more for your family. If you like that kind of thing, I hope that you'll subscribe down below so you can come back and see my future videos. I've got a bunch of great recipes coming up in this video, including four that are just for the crock pot. It is Friday night and I'm getting started on dinner. I'm starting off by putting some noodles and stuff in my Instant Pot. I'm making mac and cheese in here. I've shared this before, but it's been probably a couple months, so I thought I would go over it again. Um, I've just got one 16 ounce box of elbow noodles in there and four cups of chicken broth. I do just water and the Nord chicken bouillon. And then today I added in a little bit of Creole seasoning, not too much, a little bit of garlic powder and some dry mustard. Sometimes I just do some salt and pepper. It doesn't need too much salt since I am using the bouillon cube, but I do um, sometimes just do salt and pepper. Uh, just sometimes I want a little bit more flavor. So today we got a little bit more flavor going on. Um, this is going to cook on manual for five minutes and then I will do a quick release. And then we'll just add a bunch of cheese and a little bit of milk and it'll be so perfect and delicious. You do not have to even drain the noodles. So I'm going to get that going and then I will work on the rest of dinner. Okay, as well as macaroni and cheese, we are going to have some zucchini. I just sliced this up and I'm going to cook that in my cast iron pan, which is currently heating up. I've got some olive oil out for that. And of course, some Creole seasoning and some Badia seasoning. And then... The meat is going to be tilapia. I've got it in my air fryer. I haven't made tilapia yet in the air fryer. I have done salmon and it was good. So tonight we are trying tilapia. I'm gonna brush it with some olive oil and then put those same seasonings on here. And online it says 400 degrees for nine minutes. So that is what I'm gonna do. Here are my noodles after they were done in the instant pot. I just moved the pot over here and I did a quick release. Um, there's better lighting over here, so I just moved it over here. Um, I did realize, like, when I opened it out and I started stirring it up, that um, I forgot to put the butter in here. You were supposed to add two tablespoons of butter as well. It kind of helps keep the noodles from sticking together. They didn't stick too, ba too bad, though. Like, they're coming apart easily when I stir it. But uh, yeah, usually I, ha I had in two tablespoons of butter as well. <laughs> now I'm gonna add some milk and some cheese. I have some mozzarella, some cheddar, and some parm. Sometimes I just do cheddar. Today I'm gonna do a little bit of each and some milk. And I don't really measure it. I just kinda add a little bit till it gets the consistency that I like. Here's our finished dinner. 
as you can see I took a piece of my tilapia and tried it and it's delicious very good like the edges are nice and crispy the only thing I would do different is I would put it on a piece of aluminum foil and cook it on that there's no skin on this so I don't really have to worry about that but it was kind of a pain to kind of lift it up out of the air fryer I kind of like touched the side of the air fryer and burned myself a little bit but I'm okay um, I would just do foil next time to make it easier to lift it up out of there but that is my plate and here are the kids plates and that is going to be dinner for Friday it is Saturday and tonight for dinner I just made some burgers I've got Andy is waiting for him over here in a cast iron pan super easy dinner Lily requested burgers she's like always asking for burgers so I just cooked them up in the cast iron pan got some cheddar cheese ketchup and mustard some romaine lettuce, a tomato on there, and some Duke's mayonnaise. And then these are the quick cooking fries from Aldi. If you see my grocery haul, you've seen these. Um, this is my second time buying them. We really, really liked them. They're comparable to like the thin cut fries at Walmart, which are also comparable to McDonald's fries. Just need to add a touch of salt and they're good. Um, these in the oven cook on, I think, 425 for eight minutes. Super quick cooking, like I said. Um, but I did them in the air fryer today. And I actually think I overcooked them a little bit. Um, I did them in the air fryer on 400 for 8 minutes. I meant to toss them halfway through, uh, but I had music on and didn't hear the thing beep. So I completely forgot. And then I was like, oh crap. And it had been 8 minutes and this is how they turned out. They're not burnt. They're not too hard. But I think 8 minutes is too long. Um, probably going to try it around like 6 minutes next time. But I will let y'all know. I got to cook more for Andy when he gets home. So if I remember, I'll pop in and tell you how long I cook his when he gets home later. And then I just have a Claus and Pickle. And since the kids just like their burgers with just cheese, I gave Lily a tomato on the side and Elijah a pickle on the side. And then we will have some ketchup to dip our fries in. It is Sunday and tonight for dinner we are doing spaghetti. And lately I usually make my own like pasta sauce. But... Today is like the reason why I keep jars of just like store-bought sauce on hand because it was three o'clock and I was like, crap, I don't know what we're making for dinner. I didn't pull anything out. And like three out of like the seven meals on the meal plan are crock pot meals, I think. So those kind of take a little like thinking ahead. And so the only other option was to make spaghetti. So. I pulled out some ground beef. Um, if you freeze it flat in like a Ziploc bag like I do, it thaws out like in no time. So that thawed out fast. I've got that in my pan. I'm gonna cook that up with some salt and pepper and garlic powder and onion powder and Italian seasoning. And then surprisingly, I don't have like a bunch of random jars of tomato sauce and pizza sauce and all that in my fridge this week. So I just had a little bit of tomato sauce in this bag. I'm gonna throw that in with this Classico tomato basil sauce. Um, I'll rinse the jar with probably a little bit of water and cook all that up. And then I've got some spaghetti noodles and this loaf of garlic bread from Aldi that I got on Markdown. Bake that and we'll have a quick and easy spaghetti dinner. It's not homemade or anything, but it will get us fed.
here is our spaghetti. I topped it with some fresh grated parm that I had in the fridge. And yeah, that's going to be our quick and easy dinner for Sunday. On Monday night, I made a chicken enchilada soup. This was something that I just kind of like threw together and didn't follow a recipe. So I started off with two chicken breasts in my crock pot and to that I added some taco seasoning. It was about enough to equal a package of taco seasoning. And then I added a heaping spoonful of garlic, one small onion that I diced up, one can of corn, one can of black beans, and one small can of enchilada sauce and one small can of Rotel. I actually had purchased the larger cans for both of those uh, for a previous recipe and I had half of each can left over so I froze them and I had this in the freezer so that's what I used. And then I added in six cups of chicken broth. I stirred everything up really well and then I covered it and cooked that on low for eight hours. Towards the end of the cook time, I went ahead and removed those chicken breasts from the crock pot and just shredded them up. And then I added them back into the soup and just let it sit until we were ready to eat. Okay, to go on top of our enchilada soup tonight, I am going to cut up some corn tortillas. These are from Aldi. I'm just gonna cut them up into strips. I'm gonna do a couple of them, not too many, probably like three. And I'm gonna cut them up, put them in this bowl, drizzle them with just a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt. And then they're gonna go in the air fryer on 360 for seven minutes. Okay, here's the finished soup. I topped it with some cheddar cheese and then I have some sour cream on mine and then those little strips of tortilla I put on the top of mine. They're kind of sunk down into it. I put the kids on the side and then I'll make some more for Andy when he comes home and they don't have sour cream. They just have cheese on top of their soup. That is going to be dinner for Monday night. It is Tuesday and tonight I am making pork chops and stuffing in the crock pot, doing another crock pot recipe. This recipe actually comes from my friend Shauna over at the Dickinson Homestead. She shared it the other week as part of our like big fall dinner collab. And when I saw it, I knew I had to make it. We love like the chicken and stuffing dinners. So I think that we'll really like the pork and stuffing dinners as well. I'm doing it a little bit different than she does, but make sure you check out her video down below if you haven't already. Um, I just don't like like dirtying a bunch of dishes and having and, like mixing things in separate bowls. So I'm going to try to simplify it a little bit and just like dump everything pretty much in the crock pot. So I've got some pork chops. I'm going to season those with some pepper and some thyme. She used thyme leaves, but I just have ground thyme. So that's what I'm going to use. And then I've got a jar of chicken gravy. And I have Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. Um, she used sour cream, but I'm all out of sour cream. So I just measured out one cup of Greek yogurt. Pretty much tastes the same. And then we've got two sticks of melted butter and two bags of stuffing. She used the savory herb. I just got the chicken flavor from Aldi. So I'm going to start off by seasoning my pork chops and then I'm gonna get my gravy with probably about half a can of water and this yogurt in my crock pot and get that all whisked together.
Okay, now I'm going to set my pork chops down into that gravy mixture. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle on both bags of the stuffing. Now I'm going to take my two sticks of melted butter and pour that over the whole top trying to make sure everything is moist. Okay, now I'm going to cover this and let it cook on low for probably about eight hours. Okay, to go with the pork chops and stuffing, I just made a can of green beans. And for the kids, I kind of put their stuffing on one side and their pork on the other, because I know that's how they'll prefer to eat it. And then mine, all the stuffing is still just like on top of the pork chop and green beans. And here's the other one, and I already tasted it. And it is delicious. Definitely check out Shauna's video down below. And yeah, that is going to be dinner for Tuesday. Okay, it is Wednesday. It is Elijah's birthday. And tonight for dinner, we are having some chicken parm sliders. He requested sliders for dinner. Um, so this isn't really a crock pot recipe. That part of it isn't. But I am using the crock pot to cook my chicken tonight. So I thought it out last night. I've got two breasts in there. It's about a pound of chicken. And I'm going to go in with some garlic powder and some Italian seasoning and a little bit of red pepper flakes and then probably about half of this jar of pasta sauce this is the tomato basil from Aldi I don't want it to be swimming in sauce so I'm just gonna probably do half the jar and then if we need more sauce later when I actually put together the sandwiches I'll add more sauce but I just want it to be lightly saucy so I'm just gonna make sure both pieces of chicken are just covered with the sauce like I said, I don't want them to be swimming in the sauce. And then I'm gonna put this on high and let it cook for probably about four hours. Okay, my chicken has just been sitting in the crock pot on warm because it was done earlier. So it's just sitting there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna add any more sauce. It's like saucy enough. So I am preheating my oven to 350. I've got out a nine by 13. I've got these brioche like slider buns. I think they're already cut so I don't have to cut them, which is awesome. These are from uh, Aldi. Um, I'm gonna put those in my pan, take the tops off, put my chicken mixture on top and then some mozzarella cheese, put the top buns on, and then I'm gonna brush it with this Chef Chamois garlic butter. I just melted the last of it in the microwave, 
and I'm gonna brush that all over and then this will bake for 20 minutes. This was originally like a tasty recipe, so I will leave that linked down below if you're interested in how they did it. They've got a whole like butter mixture um, to make and they do it just a little bit differently, but this is how I do it now. It's super easy and like cooking the chicken in the crock pot makes it even easier. I think they use like a rotisserie chicken, which you could totally do, but I do it this way. The chicken's more flavorful because it like cooks in that sauce all day. Um, and then to go with that, I'm cooking up some onion rings in the air fryer. And then once those are done, I'm also gonna cook a couple of these fries because Lily does not like onion rings. And uh, that'll be dinner. Okay, we've got our onion rings. These cooked on 400 for 15 minutes and I tossed them halfway through. And, and then we've got our sliders. And then these quick fries, which I said I would let you guys know how long we cook them. I did 400 degrees for five minutes. Um, I previously told y'all earlier on another day that eight minutes was too long, but five minutes is perfect. And so these are the kids' plates. Elijah's got a little bit of onion rings and some fries, and Lily just has fries because that's all she likes. And I just started them off with one slider each, and then I'm just going to have sliders and onion rings and probably Andia as well. But that is going to be dinner for Elijah's birthday, and I also made a chocolate cake, um, so we'll have that for dessert. Um, I'll insert a picture of Elijah from earlier when we actually cut the cake after lunch and sang happy birthday to him. Happy birthday! You ready to eat dinner? Yeah! It is Thursday and tonight for dinner we are having Mississippi chicken thighs and I'm getting a late start to this. It's noon here and power was out for hours this morning, like five hours. So that's fun. So it's finally back on. I'm gonna get dinner in here. These are still partially frozen so I'm gonna cook them on high. Um, as I said, these are boneless skinless chicken thighs. And then I've got some carrots that I cut up last night into big chunks. And then I had just had a few potatoes left over that I hadn't used this week. So I'm going to use those as well. And I just kind of cut them into big pieces. Um, if you know Mississippi Fat Roast, you know. Au jus, ranch packet, pepperoncinis, and a stick of butter. So I'm gonna get all that in the crock pot and get it on high.
Okay, I just made uh, some perfect white rice uh, to go with this. I made that in the Instant Pot. I've shared it a couple times, and I will have the how to do it listed down below. It's super easy. So we just have our chicken shredded up on top of the rice, and then our vegetables. And everybody except for me has more rice. Um, and then I just have a little bit of rice, but I have more potatoes, and then I also have the peppers because I like them. But those are the kids' plates. That one's Andy's. Mine, I took all the vegetables out and put them in a bowl so that I could shred up my chicken. So that is what that looks like. And that is going to be dinner for Thursday. And that is going to be it for this week's What's For Dinner. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on trying any of these recipes. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!